hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel maison african motives uh, still working on engineering science and three uh, working on the question paper which was uh, actually written in july 2018 so in this case we shall be working actually on forces so we just want to clearly rush through this question paper and see what uh, we were given this uh, part which is on uh, forces like as you can see from uh, question that we are given which is on question three that is on forces and you're having a total there of 14 marks which is uh, something that we are not supposed to to lose in exam all right so looking at the question that we are given there i want us to just quickly rise through the question on 3.1 we are given to name two conditions of a number of coplanar forces acting on the same point to be in equilibrium okay what are the conditions that uh, the coplanar forces are uh, acting at the same point are in equilibrium what are these conditions okay so like i say guys always i bring these uh, conditions or definitions which are according to your syllabus so that uh, you don't uh, divert away so on 3.1 we are given the sum of the clockwise moments should be equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments and i think we have talked about this a lot of times and the sum of the upward forces must be equal to the sum of the downward forces so i think uh, this part is actually something that is clear so now on 3.2 that is where i want us to have a major focus there on that uh, system of forces that we are given so the uh, as you can see guys uh, we are asked to calculate the sum of the vertical components and state the direction, horizontal components, state the direction and the magnitude of the equilibrium. All right. Looking at the question that we are given, uh, I always say that your forces should be taken from a point, not to the point like what this force is doing. It's going to the point and also this 2,5 is also approaching the point so this one is fine it's taken away from the point this one is also taken away from the point that is what your forces should be so in order for you not to confuse yourself it is best for you to redraw this diagram taking forces away from the point not towards the point so what do i mean we are going to have something like this uh, remember this part here we say this one is fine and as you can see this one it represents a, a vertical line as you can see this is a vertical line that you're given and this one of uh, three kilometers is actually giving us a horizontal line so this is what is going to mark our horizontal line and this is what we're going to mark our vertical line so take note for that so which means we are going to have our horizontal line straight now let's just have it straight and the other part let's just indicate with dotted lines because there's no force that is given on this part but here there's a force that is given of three kilonewton which is on the horizontal so I'm, I'm just going to have here my three kilonewtons this one you said it's fine okay we also say this one of two kilonewton is fine so i'm just going to repeat as it is with an angle of 45 so this one there's nothing that you're going to do just repeat as it is which is uh, an angle of 45 degrees in this case all right so this is two kilonewtons like this all right now let's work on these two forces that we say they are wrong because they are pointing at the point this part they are not they are not they're supposed to be taken away from the point like an arrow this is how you, you see it. the arrow should be from the point like this this is how the forces should be presented all right so this one like i always say it's going to be a continuation you're just going to make a continuation of this line so as you can see it's going down so you're just going to continue with this line going down so this one there's no effect so it's going to be on the negative side now from where it was it just continues because it's in the vertical line so it is just going to continue as it as you can see it's pointing downwards so it's going to continue in that direction so that now it's taken away from the point 
so this one we are just going to draw which means it is going to be transferred from where it was so where it was now it's now a broken line because there's nothing so far and this one is now a continuous line like that so this force is now going to be indicated in this way this is where we are going to see this force of uh, 3,5 so it's going to be written like this this is your 3,5 now all right so it's going to be easier for you when you have a diagram like this okay what about this one you just continue with it because as you can see it's pointing this way so it is going to continue like this this is how it's going to continue like that so as you can see uh, this angle here and this angle here they're equal why are we saying so sorry not this angle this one let me adjust like this okay this angle here as you can see we are in the vertical or in the horizontal line so this angle of 30 here and this angle of 30 here are equal these ones they are vertically opposite angles like this so if this angle is 30 this angle is also 30 but now this is pointing this part so this is where we are now having our 2,5 it's now here but so it is transferred so that it can point it can be taken away from the point using this angle of 30 degrees in between the horizontal line and the force so this one is no longer there all right so we are going to indicate like this where it was taken from you just indicate with the dotted lines to show that there was a force where it was taken from now it's on this part like this all right okay and we said if this was 30 this is also going to give us 30 degrees so this is 30 degrees and this was a force of 2,5 kilonewtons like this now i'm having a clear diagram all the forces are taken away they are now taken away from the point there's no force that is pointing this point uh, at that point there so i'm just going to apply now uh, the questions that i'm given easier okay calculate the sum of the vertical components and state the direction okay so let's work with vertical components so vertical we are referring to sign that is this one that is the vertical component here we've got the vertical component here and this one is all vertical so the vertical component as you can see according to the triangle is opposite so anything that is opposite from uh, soccer to there so as you can see anything that is opposite has to do with sine so that is why you have to apply sine for vertical components okay so this is vy uh, which is 2.1 this is 3.2 yeah, this is 3.21 so we've got vertical components so I said it's going to carry sign so it's 2,5 sine 30 and it's on the positive this one it's above it's above the x-axis so it's a positive so it's 2,5 sine 30 degrees all right we move on to this one it's also above the the, the vertical or this horizontal line it's this vertical line it's above the horizontal line that you're given so it's a positive so it's 2 sine 45 degrees so it's going to be plus 2 sine 45 degrees like this okay then this one can never be a vertical because it's a straight horizontal so there's nothing that you're going to take you just leave it like that then this one also it's a straight vertical so you're going to take it so it's going to be but it's in the negative now because it's below the x as you can see it's below this x axis this line so if it is below like this which means it's going to carry a negative there so it's going to be negative 3,5 like that because we do not have any it's just a straight vertical it's in the vertical line so it's going to be taken direct as it is but it's in the negative now so guys this is enough for you to use your calculator you're going to obtain something like um, minus 0,83 five seven eight six yeah something like that okay so you can round off this to negative zero comma eight seven is going to change this into six so it's going to be eight three six so this is what you're going to have um this force is the way in kilonewtons so it's going to be kilonewtons like this okay this is a vertical component guys that's a vertical can either be going to north or going to south so if it is a negative actually it's going to to south 
that is what is uh, it can be because it's a vertical so this one the direction is going to the to the south so vertical it's either like this that's vertical so it's either you go to the north or you go to the south so the south is negative north is positive that's for the vertical component all right so you have got your vertical component what about the horizontal component which is on 3.22 um, so the horizontal component remember is going to carry cos because we are talking about adjacent now so it's going to be cos so it's this one the horizontal it's on the positive side this is the positive side so it's going to be 2,5 cos that which is a positive so it's 2,5 cos 30 degrees all right then here now on this side this one from 2 with an angle of 45 this one is on the negative side so it's going to be minus 2 cos 45 all right yes we started with 2 there but it's on the negative so it's going to be minus 2 cos 45 degrees all right then i want you to see this part here the one that we said last time it wasn't a vertical when we said it's a horizontal which means this time we are going to take this as a horizontal because it's in the horizontal but the direction where it is it's on the negative side so we are going to subtract three so it's going to be minus three okay this one it's a straight no why because we say this is a vertical so it can never be a horizontal so it's a straight no we can't take it this time so that is going to be our horizontal components so you work around them you're going to obtain negative 2 comma 249 yeah something like that okay so you can round off to three decimal places which is going to be negative 2 comma 4 nine as you can see this one cannot change so this is what you're going to have and these are in kilonewtons all right now we are talking about the horizontal component which direction are you talking about the horizontal component it it's either you're going to the east or you're going to the west the west is the one that is negative the east is positive so this definitely it's the west because negative so we are going to the west so anything to the west is negative anything to the east is positive okay anything to the north is positive anything to the south is negative according to the forces okay according to these forces that we are having here that is what we are talking about so you are supposed to take note about that because you are asked to state the the, the magnitude and what and the direction the direction that is being south or being west or it's north or whatever that you're given there all right so let's just try and see the other question what we are given so that we can actually conclude this all right so the other question is now the magnitude of the equilibrium all right the magnitude of the equilibrium so in this case this one is a straight magnitude we are not asked about the direction they just need the magnitude okay so in order for you to have the magnitude you can just use the formula direct because we know that uh, this is 3.23 okay we know that the magnitude that's the resultant which is the square root of uh, hx squared plus vy squared so in this case since we are not asked about the direction i'm just going to work out the magnitude straight uh, I'm not going to redraw the diagram so that no, I'm just gonna put this uh, my horizontal component that is this one negative two. So you can put a negative or you can just leave it like that negative two comma two four nine in a bracket. Take note you must put that negative in a bracket plus negative this in a bracket also negative eight comma three six which is your vertical component. You square it in a bracket. Or you can just leave this negative there's no effect because if you square a negative is going to be a positive so as you can see there's no effect so it's going to be a decimal like two comma three nine nine three five three something like that okay so you can just round off to three decimal places which is going to be two comma three nine nine as you can see three cannot change nine it cannot be so this is your resultant if it was about the 
to direction therefore we could have calculated direction but this time just like what we did here but in this case we are just the question was answer the resulting so we must learn to answer the question as it is given so that's it guys uh, from this question uh, that you're given from the question paper uh, that we had uh, so if you work more questions on this question paper so if there is any question on this question paper that you see that we can work on let's meet on the comment section so that we can work on that question um, so that we can revise for the exams which are ahead of time which is the ones that we are preparing for now